The Life and Sad Ending of Valerie Bertinelli Valerie Bertinelli was born Valerie Ann Bertinelli on April 23, 1960, in Wilmington, Delaware, U.S. to parents Nancy and Andrew, a General Motors executive. Raised Roman Catholic, she has two younger brothers. She also had an elder brother who died before she was born. Because of her father's job, she along with her family frequently moved and had to live in Delaware, Michigan, Clarkston, Claymont, Shreveport, California, Oklahoma City, and Louisiana at different times. In her early teens, Bertinelli lived in the Michigan area where she attended Clarkston Middle School. When she was living in California, she became friends with the daughter of a famous TV producer. At the time she caught the acting bug and started studying acting at the Tammy Lynn School of Artists. She also attended Granada Hills High School. After studying at the Tammy Lynn School of Artists, Bertinelli forayed into television as a teenager. With her confident poise and good acting skills, she created a niche for herself soon and became a much sought after television personality. Also known for her tumultuous personal life and struggles with substance abuse, she worked hard to reclaim her life and emerge a winner. She is well known to the public through her New York Times best-selling books in which she detailed her struggles during the tough times in her life. On April 11, 1981, Valerie Bertinelli married the guitarist Eddie Van Halen. The couple has a son who was born in 1991. They named their son after Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart who was Eddie Van Halen's favorite composer. Her marriage with Van ended in 2007. The reasons for their divorce have been highlighted by Bertinelli in her autobiography. She stated that it was her husband's drug addiction and smoking habit that lead to their divorce. Valerie Bertinelli's acting career started in 1974 when she worked in an episode of the television series, Apple's Way. She got her big break in 1975 in the CBS hit TV series, One Day at a Time, which was produced by Norman Lear. In the series, she played the role of Barbara Jean Copper. Bertinelli was 15 years old at that time. In 1981, she formed her own film company and produced the television movies, Shattered Vows, in the year 1984 and, Silent Witness, in the year 1985. She also acted in these movies. Valerie Bertinelli was also a part of the miniseries, Ill Take Manhattan, which was telecast in 1987. This series was based on a novel written by Judith Krantz. She appeared in two situation comedies as well, Sydney, and, Café Americaine. These series were cancelled after short runs. Meanwhile, she also acted in three feature films, CHOMPS, Ordinary Heroes, and, Number One with a Bullet, which came in the year 1979, 1986, and 1987 respectively. In the year 2001, she joined the, Touched by an Angel, cast for the show's last two seasons. She is also a popular author. In 2008, Valerie Bertinelli released her autobiography, Losing It, and Gaining My Life Back One Pound at a Time. The next year, she wrote a follow-up book, Finding It, and Satisfying My Hunger for Life Without Opening the Fridge. Over her career, Valerie Bertinelli gained a lot of weight and was slammed because of being too overweight. By March 2009, she had lost about 50 pounds after joining Jenny Craig's weight loss program and became a spokesperson for the program and worked for many of its commercials. In 2010, she was invited to co-host ABC TV's The View. The same year, she starred in a super hit TV series, Hot in Cleveland, alongside TV veterans Betty White, Wendy Malick, and Jane Leaves. This situation comedy aired for six seasons before ending in June 2015. In 2012, she came up with her book titled, One Dish at a Time. This book was a collection of dishes related to her Italian heritage. That same year on August 22, 2012, 
She received the 2476 star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She was ranked 29th in VH1's list of 100 Greatest Kid Stars. In 2014, she appeared on the genealogy documentary series, Who Do You Think You Are? As of now, she hosts a food show, Kids Baking Championship, which airs on Food Network. Valerie Bertinelli is best known for her award-winning performance as Barbara Cooper Royer in the sitcom, One Day at a Time, in which she portrayed the role of a wisecracking teenage girl. The role gained the actress much popularity and set the pace for her future career. Valerie Bertinelli's, One Day at a Time, fetched her the, Golden Globe Award for the Best Supporting Actress in two consecutive years 1981 and 1982. Bertinelli has also admitted to her struggles with an addiction to cocaine and spoke about how she fought with the addiction. She once stated that she got to the point where whenever she heard the chirping of birds, she became quite irritated. She also said that it took her years to come out of the addiction and enjoy the sound of birds again. Today may be difficult, tomorrow may be more difficult, and will finally be a wonderful day. Wishing everyone a lot of energy in life, positive and healthy.